Michael was a 35-year-old butcher who had always lived a simple and mundane life. He worked long hours at his shop, cutting and preparing meats for his customers. Despite his hard work, he never seemed to get ahead or find true happiness. He was always stressed and tired, and he often wished for something more in life. One day, while on his way home from work, Michael was involved in a terrible car accident. He was rushed to the hospital with severe injuries and sent right to the operating table where the surgeon could work on him. His chances to survive were slim. What happened to me? Am I dead? What now? As he opened his eyes in the afterlife, Michael was greeted by a bright, warm light. He couldn't believe what he was seeing. This couldn't be the afterlife, could it? It was far too nice and peaceful for that. He had always imagined the afterlife to be a place of judgment, where he would have to face the consequences of his actions in life. But as he took in his surroundings, he began to feel a sense of contentment and happiness that he had never experienced before. He felt like he had finally found his true home, a place where he belonged. As he explored this strange new world, he eventually came across a demon. The demon was tall and muscular, with horns on its head and wings on its back. It had a concerned look on its face as it approached Michael and explained the rules and punishments of this strange, otherworldly realm. Michael was terrified and confused. How could this place, which felt so peaceful and beautiful, be hell? Despite his fear and confusion, Michael knew that he had to find a way out of this place. He couldn't spend eternity in this hell no matter how nice it seemed on the surface. He vowed to do whatever it took to find a way out and back to the mortal world. Determined to find a way out, Michael began to sneak around and gather information about this strange, otherworldly realm. He noticed that there were different areas designated for different types of souls, and he began to realize that this place was more complex and layered than he had initially thought. It was a realm of both punishment and reward where each soul was assigned a place based on their actions in life. As he continued to explore and ask questions, he started to notice that some of the souls seemed to be unhappy with their assigned places. They whispered about a way out of hell, a secret passage that led to the mortal world, but that it was heavily guarded by demons. Michael knew he had to take the chance and made a risky plan with the rebels to sneak past the guards and escape through the tunnel. The night of their escape arrived, and they crept through the gardens, trying to stay hidden in the shadows. They managed to make it to the tunnel undetected, but as they started to crawl through, they were caught by a group of demons. A fierce battle ensued. Michael fought with all his might, determined to escape this place and return to the mortal world. But was it even possible? Well, I will let Michael tell this part of the story himself. At first it was all black and I thought, now what? Did we make it? Where am I? I then heard a voice calling my name and felt a hand shaking me gently. Everything was hazy and blurry. I tried to look around at the unfamiliar sights and sounds of the moral world and began realizing that something was off. A group of people was standing over me, looking relieved and happy. Welcome back, one of them said with a smile. You've been in a coma for over a year. I couldn't believe it. I thought I was in hell, but it had all been a dream. I was overwhelmed with gratitude and relief for having been given a second chance at life, and I vowed to make the most of it. And so you heard it from the man himself. From this day, Michael would never take his time on earth for granted again, and we would advise each and every one of you to do the same. <laughs>